YouTube, it is your favorite game here above Average Cody coming at you with a video on why Halo Infinite is about to be saved in a massive way by 343. And I'm going to paint this whole portrait for you guys by way of leaked videos, by way of data mined files, and by way of overall speculation. And 343 being extremely quiet about some potential big things that if you're looking at the writing on the wall, guys, it seems like this stuff could be coming as soon as the end of the year. But anyways, guys, there is a lot to talk about. And we're going to be referencing some videos from other YouTubers mainly because I appreciate YouTubers that get all of these leaks and put them together in one video. All of this gameplay. I've done this before with, I believe, relaxed video uh, in the last month or so. So, guys, we're going to dive into a lot today. There's going to be a lot of information. And the only thing I want you guys to do is if you feel so inclined, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And whether you're pulling with me and being very optimistic or if you are just done with it and you're going to wait and see what happens now i don't want to dive in too hot and heavy here but first we're going to go into a lot of new guns that have gameplay leaked of them they've been found in the files of the game which isn't that big of a deal because there's been guns in the file since the beginning but we're going to go over some of the new guns guys i'm going to show you some of the clips from a video by halo follower uh he did a great job of putting all of these recent leaks into one video uh he has the whole video time stamped as you can see down here below so guys by all means if you want to see it all described in great detail and probably better than i could ever describe it Go check that video. We're not affiliated in any way together, but he just did a great job putting the putting everything together in one video here. So guys, first off, we have this leaked image here. We have the SMG, we have a rail gun, and we have a lot of different guns here, which he goes on to show a lot of clips of here. So we're just going to watch through it here, uh, probably click through. I'll jump around a little bit. But we have things like a double barrel shotgun, which this is just like a placeholder in some of the... Um, the sample gameplay of it guys but we have a double barrel shotgun we have a lot of banished weapons we have full auto plasma assault rifles and things like that uh, we have a long range ar that you can see here and i actually wrote down a whole list we have the saw the smg the railgun or bandit rifle double barrel shotgun banished rifle that's full auto the plasma liquidator which is basically like a plasma minigun and then we have things like beam rifle sound effects and then the scrap cannon could be coming to multiplayer it is of course already in the campaign guys but it's obviously not branched over to multiplayer so the question that all these guns and gun leaks bring up guys is if they have all of these guns in the files, we've seen gameplay of them, and Halo even does all of these drop pods, so why are they not in the game already? My thoughts with that is they are banking all of these away for a very, very big update, and I'm sure you can imagine where this is going. That's right, guys. A battle royale. And I mean, there's already been a lot of, I don't want to say confirmed rumors. I'm not that deep in the community to say where these sources and things like that are coming from. But there are many, many, many things pointing that it is currently being play tested. It is currently being made. And if you look at the writing on the wall with 343 being extremely quiet, Forge having already been playable and being tested, and you look at all of these guns that are being leaked and banked and just like six seven or eight guns why would you put all those together into one update i i just think we're pointing at a massive savior of halo almost like a second release like if this much content i find hard to believe it all comes out for season three uh not just because season three really isn't that far away at this point i believe two or three months but that would be a lot of content to drop on people all at once. And with the track record of Halo, there's no way a lot would be broken. A lot wouldn't be broken. But I see it pointing at a perfect environment where we get a Battle Royale dropped on us. We get Forge dropped on us. And we get a slew of new weapons. I believe I listed six or seven weapons. And if you put all this stuff together, guys, an environment where people can go and play a battle royale with an engine and a game that has arguably been just the perfect landscape for a battle royale combined with the customization and community input that a forge system in halo allows granted it's done good and polished 
You put those two things together and you have arguably the most fun customization sandbox style environment I think we could probably ever see in a first person shooter. Obviously Forge and past Halo games is truly goaded. But it's almost like they're going to take all of their mistakes, uh, their missed opportunities, and just bundle them together into arguably the greatest comeback we could ever see in a game that some people consider to be quote-unquote dead already, guys. And obviously, at this point, I'm speculating, I'm giving my thoughts, but that's why YouTube's such a great platform. That's really what a lot of these videos are, guys. And I mean... It really comes down to how hype you want to get off of speculation, off of leaks. I will argue it for the other side, guys. Uh, 343 has had all of this in front of them since day one, and this game's been out over a year, and the player base is somehow still fluctuating at a point that is like 5% of what it was when the game came out. And also, there's been a lot of guns and things in the game file since day one. Now, whether they were banking it and they had this plan from the start or it just really wasn't ready or they decided to go a different way with ideas, I don't know, guys, but we've seen a lot of things flop before. But personally, I am riding on the side of optimism, and the main reason for that is we do not have 343 banging at our front doors saying, oh, no, 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 this, this is coming next month. Oh, no, 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 this is coming in two months. Oh, no, 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 give us one more week. I haven't heard anything, and I mean, they're still doing the drop pods, they're still doing the community posts, they are even doing updates as recent as, I think in the last two weeks, guys, they adjusted the glint on all the rifles and things like that, which, topic for another video if you guys want me to talk about the subtle adjustments they've made, but they're not banging on our front doors saying, this is coming, this is coming, guys, we're testing this, no, guys, it seriously works, guys, it's not gonna be broken, they're not doing that, guys. <laughs> and I mean, the I think they're learning from their mistakes. That's just my thoughts on the matter, guys. Uh, please share your thoughts down below. But what I think we are about to walk into is an era in Halo Infinite. We're going to get through Orlando Worlds, the World Championship. They already have another season of the HCS ready to go. And if you go between seasons of the HCS, which I bring up the HCS because I arguably think that is one very big thing keeping this game, uh, this game's head above the water. Because, I don't know about you guys, I love watching the HCS, I like watching the Halo Pros, and when I watch it, it gets me amped, it gets me to want to play the game. And a lot of people playing ranked, a lot of people still playing this game, uh, it goes hand in hand with people that are into the Halo Pro scene. So, you have a fantastic Halo Worlds, guys, between the two Halo seasons, meaning the Season 1 starting for the HCS, and we're leading up to Season 2, we're going to have a Roster Mania going on, you drop Forge, you potentially drop a Battle Royale, in the very least, you drop even four of the six new guns, maybe some new maps here and there, or you let Forge drop and you let people customize some new maps, perhaps let them come to live gameplay. You have a game where there is so much stuff to do where you arguably get everybody that could possibly have a reason to play the game back onto the game. The people that like to customize, to, to come play in Forge. The people that like to play casually, perhaps in a battle, battle royale or just a casual setting with a lot of new fun guns, including one from the campaign like the Scrap Cannon. And then also, you have a landscape for competitive players, possibly a ranked BR. You possibly add some new maps and things like that to rank. There's no way they don't add things to ranked uh, come season uh, three, guys. So you put all that together. Together, guys i think you have a r potential relaunch of halo infinite a second coming of the launch that was so huge for halo infinite initially guys i don't know a lot of talking a lot of speculation i doubt any of you even made it this far in the video if you did i appreciate you guys and leave me your thoughts in the comments guys but i think we're coming up on something very huge for halo infinite and i'm excited guys because now that i've curbed my expectations I've been having a lot of fun on the game. You know, when you expect it to run good, you expect it, all this new content, you get, you get uh, like, not complacent, but you get greedy, you know? And it gets you angry, it gets you upset. But now that I've really just come to appreciate Halo Infinite for what it is and how much potential it has, I've been having so much fun, and I think that's why it's easier for me to now ride on the side of optimism as opposed to just sitting here, arms crossed, angry, complaining about 343 in every single one of my videos. But all right, guys, that does it for this video. Uh, this is kind of out of line with a lot of my content, and I don't normally like to do leaks because a lot of times they turn out to be wrong, especially with the likes of Halo Infinite, but, uh, 
this was fun. I'm excited. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to be excited about. But uh, let me know your thoughts, guys. That's all there is to it. Subscribe, Halo content. Leave a like on the video if by some shot you enjoyed this. Uh, leave a comment. I already mentioned. Then channel memberships, guys. But that does it. I'm going to wrap it up there. I did enough talking. I'm going to go drink a ton of water now because my mouth's so dry. But uh, thank you so much for watching all the content, guys. We're coming up on 2,000 subs so fast. And I can't even, like, a year ago, I couldn't even fathom the numbers we're pulling uh, for all this content. So thank you guys so much. Uh, that does it for me. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And stay tuned for the next video.